<laughs> this episode is brought to you by Savory Vietnam. Savory Vietnam is located in Denver, Colorado at 2200 West Alameda Street. Whenever I'm in Denver, Colorado, the one place I love eating Vietnamese food at is Savory Vietnam. Go check them out. And now, on to the show. And just like that, it's turned into night in Tokyo. Uh, I kind of skipped lunch today. I kind of just said, hey, I had a lot of calories during the um, early morning filming with the uh, udon, which is absolutely delicious. So now it is, um, what time is it? 6.20? And I have an hankering for steak. So I'm going to go find myself a $10 to $15 steak here in Tokyo. Show you guys that spot. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Been walking around all day. <clears throat> We're currently in Ginza. This area is where all the luxury brands are at. And uh, just gonna walk back to the Capsule Hotel, burn some more calories and get ready for dinner. Let me show you guys what Ginza looks like. So this area again is where all the luxury brands are at. And it's such a modernized part of town. People wait at the red lights. Cars uh, follow all the rules. The streets are so clean. It's a Tuesday night. I don't expect this place to be really that busy. Um, but look at the lights. Look at the... The people are just so well dressed. We'll do a little bit of walking around uh, before we head out. Compared to Vietnam, it's like eerily quiet. No one's hawking their horns. Um, just a really peacefulness when it comes to uh, this city. I think it's partly due to the culture, the way they were raised. Um, it's much different than Vietnam, where Vietnam is just loud and there's people everywhere you look. It's quite nice over here. <laughs> Architecture out here is so modernized. All right, well, that is Ginza. It does go further down. And it goes further into to this lobby, smaller uh, alleyways with boutique uh, designers, but we'll call it right here. One last shot of Ginza. So this is the restaurant that does yakiniku. So we're gonna go inside. As you see, it's cozy. It's a it's a place where solo people can eat by themselves. You have a small grill in front of you. Hell, let's go inside and eat one of these amazing uh, menu items. All right, we made it. So we're gonna do yakiniku tonight. Yakiniku is basically grill at your table meat. This is a great setup. It's great for one person. We turn the camera around, show you guys what we're working with here. There is your mini grill to yourself. These are your sauces you have over here. And then this is how you order. So um, there's a lot of great stuff on here. I'm trying to figure out, thank God there's, there's English, what to order. This one looks really good because you get Refill on kimchi, refill on soup, refill on rice. Um, and for sixteen ninety one, probably gonna be like ten bucks. Um, and also this one. So it has uh, 
beef ribs short plate. Like that. And then there's a wagyu ribs beef tongue and skirt steak hanger combo. Um, that was a really harder one to beat right now. That looks really, really good. But when in doubt, go with the all star. I mean, there's an all star reason. There's all, there's, laugh. <laughs> they call it all star for a reason. So let's go ahead and order it. Click this button for large rice. I have no idea what that means. Yes, no topping. And then confirm. Okay, order's in place. So all we can do right now is sit back, relax, drink some water, and then get ready to eat. All right, the food just came out. Let me show you what we got here and um, got some really cool things to show you guys. All right, so start off with the rice, kimchi, soup, one, two, three, four types of meat and onions, beef tongue, and then the beef intestines. This is really the all-star combo. Have your mini grill here. And you have your chopsticks, you have your napkins, and your toothpicks if you ever need them. Really cool, huh? All right, chopsticks. Good to go. And we have some napkins. Are you over here? Napkins. Of course, everybody needs napkins. And then, napkin app. <laughs> Let's just put it over here for now. There's some sauces over here. Miso sauce. Okay. That's the miso sauce. Soy sauce. There's two soy sauces here. Let's take this one. Oh, this is soy and sesame. There is some grated garlic. I'll put that in the soy sesame. Red chili, I'll put that in the miso. I'm actually not sure what goes with what, but it can't be, it can't be wrong, it can be bad. <laughs> All right. So I should show you guys how I grill this. So hold on. Put some meat on there. Okay. And I'm just going to grill what I'm going to eat. I'll do these four slices. And then, um, yeah. So, really cool that you have your own personal charcoal grill. Uh, it's actually a gas grill. Uh, there's no smoke in here. It's like absolutely smokeless. And if you look around, it's literally just these individual boots for you to sit in. I like it. I'm digging it. Let's see how this meat's doing. I do want a nice char on the meat, so I don't want to turn it too quickly. Okay, meat is done. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the pieces, put it onto my rice. I think that. Then start eating. <clears throat> the smell is absolutely amazing. I'll dip it into the soy, sesame, and garlic sauce first. <laughs> That's good.
Okay. And eating is an art. Say it's an art because it is not easy. We just added the onions into the mix. Not quite sure what cut is what. The meat is just so tender. It's just full of flavor and fat. Mm. Not in a good way. Not fat in a bad way. I'm going to add some more the beef to my bowl here. And yeah, you can get all the kimchi and meat you want, or all the kimchi and soup you want. Listen, I'll dip the next piece of meat into the miso and red chili sauce. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Mm. Japanese beef is just so perfumey. Take the onions off the grill. <clears throat> Get a piece of meat. Get some onion. The kimchi too. Get the kimchi for later. Oh, oh, mm, 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 mm. 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 I don't know what piece of meat that is. That was so good. Ooh, that was juicy. Meat right there. Mm. Nice, thick cut. We'll dip it into the soy, sesame, and garlic sauce. It's kind of cool. It's very cozy over here. Japanese mm. rice is so good. Mm. Let's add more meat to the grill. This is short plate. You what the grill looks like. Look at that. The short doesn't need much time to cook. It's very thin. It's a nice uh, ridge of fat in there. You do want to keep this, you don't want to burn it. Oh. That's exactly what I want to do that. Mm. That's going to be done. That's where you want to do it. You don't want too much char on this one because it's really thin. Unlike the other cuts of meat, it was a little thicker. You could definitely take a little char. This one, you want to make sure that it's cooked, the fat's rendered. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Look at that glisten of fat right there.
Can you guys see that? You guys can see it, right? Oh, it's so good. Sorry, the camera angles are the way they are. Very cozy in here. Uh, it's a very cozy area. I mean, you literally have just this much arm space. All right, let's eat some of the short plate. So the first one, out no sauce. Mm. That's so sweet. Mm. Next slice. Oh. This beef is so well marbled, so tender. Gonna be a great piece. It's gonna be rice, beef. Mm. Oh, rice is so good. You just rice by itself. I still have a tongue, beef intestines. <clears throat> I'm going to finish this rice. I'm going to order some more. <clears throat> Japanese rice is so much different than it's a store bought commercial grade. All right, so that was day one of eating. Oh, I didn't even get both meals. I got two meals today. Uh, that last yaki nuku set was $14.07. Quite a bargain when you think about the quality of beef, uh, the quality of rice, and then just um, a really all around cool restaurant to eat at. All right, so let's talk about how much I spent today. So this morning I had coffee and uh, coffee was about $2. Uh, it, was, it was a do-it-yourself coffee. So $2 and uh, say 20 cents. Uh, then I took the train and grabbed some uh, kind of like breakfast or lunch. And that breakfast or lunch today, what did I have for breakfast or lunch today? Oh, we had that, we, we, we had that awesome shrimp head and pork ramen. Um, that was incredible. That was what, 900 yen? 900 yen is $6.80, cost $7. So we're at $2 for breakfast, or no, we're at $2 for coffee. We're at uh, about $3 for the um, the train ride to grab brunch. The noodles were $6. I walked around pretty much all day for uh, around town that was free. We're on Ginza and then dinner tonight was 14 bucks. So all in 30 bucks or so. Uh, so we definitely can travel, eat and enjoy life for uh, under 50 bucks. Anyways, day one is finished. Off day two tomorrow. I want to try to do three meals tomorrow and really kind of buckle down on, on what I was trying to go after the, the very first day. So we'll try to do three meals tomorrow plus coffee. We'll try to do everything for $50. And uh, until then, my name is Calvin Bowie, aka Captain Charisma, I'm in Tokyo, Japan, and uh, this this is $50 a day eating with me. Later.